Hello friends, in this session we will discuss about ASP.NET Grid View Control using C Sharp Part 2. In Part 1 we have saw as I have created the grid view and given the data connection to the database and bounded the record, bounded the data into the grid view. So in this part we will see as how to edit, update and delete the fields in the grid view. So just I am going to add the columns into the grid view which is already I have created. So just I am copying this one and pasting into the grid view. So look over this I have created the template field. Inside the template field I have created the item template and inside the template the label field and for editing purpose we have we have to add the text to box so which field we have to edit as it is and I have added the edit and delete button into the grid view so just I am saving it and simply if I run this one means you can see the grid view which is created so by default it is generating the columns which I don't want to show so just I am removing those data those fields which is generating by auto so just I am going to auto generate columns equal to false after saving I am going to refresh my browser then it won't appear so after that I am going to now edit the records which I am going to update and delete so just I am adding the events in the grid view so just I am going to design view and then I am going to properties of the grid view then I am going to the event section and now I am going to add the events which I needed so first I am going to add the row editing and simply pressing the enter the event has been created so just I am adding three more events for row cancelling edit and the other one is first I am pinning it and after row editing row cancel editing and then I am going to add the row updating event and the last event is a row deleting okay after creating the events I am going to simply saving it and going to check the event has been created successfully and then I am going to write the queries so just I am going to create the function one more function for protected void and naming the function has a load data and simply repressing into the load data yeah and the data connection should be declared in outside the functions for the common use so just I am going to loading the data on page load so just I am going to write if if not is post back and then inside the if condition I am going to load the data as load data okay then I am going to write the event has a row editing as a grid view one dot edit index equal to event arguments is e dot new edit index okay then I'm going to load the data load data function then after that I'm going to write the event in the row cancelling editor so just I'm going to grid view one edit index equal to minus one then I'm going to write the load data function. Okay. 
then I have created for the row updating and deleting as I have created the lines and I have to simply cut this one and pasting into the row updating look over this I have already created the label SID which is inside the grid view and the text boxes which is going to be edit and update after that I am going to add the it is showing error as I have to create the label message after the update or delete it should show the message so just I am dragging from the toolbox so first I am going to stop and then I am going to add the label and label LBL message and for font bold equal to true then the four color should be a green color green then saving it and I am going to make the text equal to empty as I have mentioned the record update successfully in the code section then I am going to save it and then I am going to add the row deleting event as I have created already for the time consuming so just I am cut and paste into the row deleting event and then I am going to simply saving it after that I have to delete the grid view data also from having the ID which is similar to the grid view ID then I am going to refresh my browser after that look over this I am going to edit the first row as it is the Raja Rani I am going to remove the Raja then I am going to update yeah, record updated successfully look over this first uh, it has been uh, as in the student name is a Raja Rani now after editing it has been changed to the Raja if I don't want to have the column just I want to delete means I'm just clicking delete and after that it will it will ask us are you sure want to delete if I click OK it will delete and if I click cancel it will stop that so just I'm going to delete this one clicking OK the fourth row has been deleted okay guys hope you enjoyed if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe have a good day